to aid Ram in his battle against Ravan, hundreds of thousands of monkeys had gathered. The leader of these monkeys was the great Hanuman, also known as Maruti. Hanuman, his army of monkeys and Ram and Lakshman were prepared to attack Ravan and free Sita from his clutches from Lanka. But Ravan's Lanka was across the sea. Now how were they to cross this sea? Should they take the army across by building big ships? Instead, it was decided to build a big bridge across the sea. But the sea was wide and huge. Would a small bridge be of any use? The bridge too would have to be huge. There was a monkey named Nal who was well versed in the art of building. This task was entrusted to him. An auspicious time was decided and prayers were offered to Lord Shiv. Thousands of monkeys got to work. Some got stones, some went and got sand. Others began cutting huge trees. All the material was gathered on the seashore. The bridge was to be made of stones. But stones sink in water. Then how do we build a bridge? Any stone thrown in the water would just sink. Now what was to be done? Maruti had an idea. He was a great devotee of Ram. He wrote the words Ram on a stone and threw the stone into the water. The stone was floating. It did not sink in the water. This was due to Maruti's faith in Ram. That's it. They wrote the word Ram on every stone and threw it into the water. Thousands of hands united in this way and they began to build the bridge. Then a monkey named Angat noticed one thing. He called Maruti and said, we are hurling big stones, sand and trees into the sea. But what is this little squirrel doing? Have you seen that? Maruti saw a small squirrel walking about in a restless manner from here to there and there to here. to and fro. This small squirrel wriggles about in the sand and then runs towards the water and there she shakes off the sand. Then again wriggles her wet body in the sand and off she goes towards the water. What is she doing? Maruti saw carefully and immediately understood the squirrel's actions. He said, Angad, she is helping us in building the bridge. How? asked Angad. Not understanding. Maruti laughed and said, Looks like even she wants to help Lord Ram in his task of building the bridge. But how will she lift huge stones like we? That is why she takes sand on her body and shakes it off in the water. That too is helping, isn't it? Angad was astonished on hearing these words. He said, She may be little, but her enthusiasm in completing the task is huge. What dedication! If such a small animal works with such dedication, how can there be any delay in completing the task? Sri Ram heard them talking. He came near and he too was astonished on seeing the squirrel. He called the squirrel to him, picked her up and lightly patted her on her back. On gaining approval from Sri Ram himself, the squirrel was very happy. She bowed before Ram and immediately jumped out of his hands. She scampered away and got back to work. Ram's fingers left 
marks on the squirrel's back. The squirrel's descendants have these three lines on their backs even today. This is the reward to the squirrel for working with great dedication. In this way, with help from all, big and small, the bridge was ready. The monkey army crossed the sea and reached Lanka. And they all busied themselves in preparing for the war with Ravan.